Nicola Sturgeon, I'm sure you're enjoying this particular scandal, but I mean, you're, you've been accused of being the pot calling the kettle black when it comes to allegations of uh, the stench of sleaze. I mean, can you really take any moral high ground given the long list of sexual impropriety claims that have come from members of your party? Look, I was investigated over allegations of breaching the ministerial code and I was cleared over those allegations. But rightly, given the allegations were made, I was investigated and I was subject to months of intense scrutiny. I'm that talking about all the others, all the people who've had to resign. When uh, allegations about others come forward, uh, we investigate them, we take appropriate action. In fact, uh, you mentioned Alex Hammond. In some ways, it's because he didn't like the fact that I wouldn't cover up allegations that led to the, uh, the, the differences of opinion between us. But I'm, I'm staggered by Douglas Ross's, may I say it, hypocrisy here, because when I faced those allegations, he called for my resignation before I'd had any opportunity to even defend myself. Of course, I was subsequently cleared of the allegations against me. And yet he stands Scottish here tonight Parliament when the allegations MSPs. are about Scottish his own Parliament boss. He guilty. simply says we've got to accept his word. There is a stench of sleaze around this UK Tory government. They're acting as if the rules only apply to other people and that they and their wealthy friends can act with impunity, make and spend money however they want, and somehow they're untouchable. Well, I think the message for people across Scotland and indeed in the rest of the UK where there are elections next week is show them they're not untouchable. Douglas and actually, Ross. the rules apply to them Nicola as well. Sturgeon. Well, you'd like to see Boris Johnson presumably face a day of questioning the way Nicola Sturgeon did. I am sure there will be investigations and inquiries into all of this. We know with the lobbying situation there are eight separate inquiries underway. But Nicola Sturgeon says she investigates every single claim against an SNP politician. Can Nicola Sturgeon explain the outcome of the investigation into her disgraced ex-former finance minister, which lasted over a year, and the people of Scotland still don't know what was going on. Nicola? Uh, he's no longer in the SNP. But he was for um, a year. You were investigating investigate people that. that are not in the SNP. But Douglas really mm -hmm. has to so, sorry, answer Nicola. for... Douglas's modus well, operandi well, you, well, you have here. to answer for the members of your party. Sure, there's been ministers, Krishnan, people in Krishnan, Westminster... I think anybody watching this will have seen that I have not escaped having to answer for members of my own Derek party. Derek investigation the, lasted a year. But, this is, but hold on, let me finish this point. Douglas's Derek modus Kai's operandi here is that when it's allegations against an opponent... He calls it out and he calls for resignations before they even get the chance to defend themselves. But when it's allegations against his own side, he rushes to their defence. There needs to be a proper, full, uh, comprehensive investigation into all of the allegations, whether it's David Cameron, and Robin, Boris Johnson's text messages or these disgraceful comments that he's accused of.